Hello folks, Dr. Nels here for another run of episodes for you folks. Thanks for joining with us today. Help us out if you like this content. Click subscribe here. We'd love to have you be a part of our tribe on life and leadership and trying to help make you and help you make your team better. Um, so today we're going we're gonna to start a three-part series. And this one really at the end of the day is about transitions in, in, in your teams, uh, in your business, and whatnot. And I've developed this talk. I've been delivering it over a number of places across the U.S. Um, and it's, it's a vital conversation that needs to happen in, for many organizations and operations, and especially family operations, because those are what I'm really, really passionate about. Um, and so it's a three-part series on on those transitions and you know the first part is is how does a control freak replace themselves because control freaks don't want to let go of things to allow others to step forward in an organization to do them and for a family to be sustainable uh, or any business to be sustainable past them beyond the generations and leave a legacy it's got to grow and move forward the second part is uh, these things are not one day events and we're going to talk a little bit deeper about that and the third part will go over core values because the way this happens over multiple generations successfully is processes change but principles do not and I want you to think about that and I want that that phrase to stick in your head processes change but principles do not and so those are the three parts and so for now we're going to we're going to dig in just a, a touch more on this um, control freaks uh, that harm family businesses or organizations. And whether you're a control freak or not, regardless, you are the lid to that organization. But most notably, those that are control freaks uh, never probably raise their lid enough to let go of some things and to help the next generation, the next generations, the next layer of leadership to replace them. There are people that are control freaks because they get really uncomfortable when somebody like me comes in and says, hey, you know, who's your next layer of leaders? They get fearful. They get scared that they're going to get replaced. And that's not what it's about. It's about you identifying those rock stars underneath you that can help the organization move forward beyond you, which is a, is a humbling thing to have to do and to have to go through. Um, but it's necessary if your goal is for your operation, your business, family, not family, I don't care what it is, if your goal is to let the business go on beyond you in a successful manner. And if, if your goal is to let your team, your organization, your operation, whatever it might be, to go on successfully beyond you, then we as leaders have to humble ourselves and start thinking, all right, how do I raise my lid so I can raise other people's lids so then in turn they can replace me? And I've been through this with many organizations, a number of organizations. Uh, I've seen it with some I've, I've been involved with, and um, it's a tough journey. If you're, if you're a leader in an organization, it's something you've built, it's your baby. It's, 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 it's a part of your DNA, it's a part of your fabric. It's no different than this place for me. I didn't build it, build it. Jerry Will built the foundation. I was able to buy it and grow it to another level. But the goal has been to continue to grow it and I have to, re I have to replace myself. I have to grow other leaders. And when something is your baby, we can, we can get pretty, we can make it pretty tight. And we can, even if we want to give up something, we can give up some control, but yet, as we go through that emotional journey of letting some things go, we pull back the decision because we don't like the decision they made and then we jump back into the fire and we create more issues, right? I, I know if you're watching this, some of that makes sense to you, maybe it doesn't, but 
how, how are you going to raise your lid so that you can achieve your goal of helping your team go on beyond you, go beyond your business? And it starts with letting go of control of some things, growing the people underneath you so you can do that. And so you can continue to go down the road and replace yourself. And that's the first part of this series. We hope you've enjoyed that. Hope that makes sense. Kale, do you have any questions from that? Is there, between growing leaders and letting things go, do you want to grow leaders first and then let things go? Or do you want, is it kind of trial by fire where you let things go to some people and use that to build their leadership? No, absolutely. Yeah, we, you, you have to grow other leaders first. Um, you have to grow your team underneath you. You have to keep growing yourself. Because uh, if, if you don't grow your people and you let go of some things too soon, uh, it's not likely it'll be lethal, um, but it could, it could harm the business and obviously uh, that's not the goal. But we will be going into that in the next episode. Thanks for joining us. We're glad you're here. Thanks, friends. Cheers. Make it a great day. Click subscribe here if you like this content. We'll see you next week. Thanks.